bikini waxing and laser hair removal have been quite popular in the beauty world for many, many years, but could the trend of having no hair down there be making its way out? If you think getting rid of the hair down there is basically torture, you could be in luck. Stars like Gwyneth Paltrow and Lady Gaga are grooming a new movement and opting for oh natural. But to keep up with Hollywood's newest trend and to avoid patchy privates, women are getting controversial hair implants to repair damaged follicles from years of laser treatments. So ladies, is putting the hair back down there fair? Or should you be worried about causing a major blunder down under? Join us via Sky board certified hair restoration surgeon, Dr. Craig Ziering, who has been using these procedures. I have to ask, how does this pubic hair transplantation work? And who is rolling in saying, hey, hey doc? This has come about because of the reasons you guys are talking about. Um, it, it's similar to what happened with the trend with eyebrows, where people overplucked for a long time because the skinny eyebrows were in vogue, and now they want thicker eyebrows. So a similar situation has happened with the laser hair removal, and now the areas are patchy and people are uncomfortable with that. And then we also see that um, in certain cultures, it, it's... It, People want, for example, the Asian cultures, there's 10% of the Korean women, they're, they're born without hair. They don't have the, they have atricosis down there. And the, the hair is actually a sign of fertility and sexual desirability. And so they want and opt for these types of procedures. And how it's performed, it, it's similar to the typical hair transplant. We numb the uh, donor area in the back of the head. So the hair is coming from the back of the head and we're harvesting that hair after the local anesthesia is done, and we're creating little recipient sites, little incisions into the mons pubis. So that's the area that you would uh, graft, and you would do that in a particular design. Most common designs that are requested now are either a fan pattern or like a shield, and you place those grafts then individually as individual oh. follicular units into those areas, and they grow. But you know, some people love it, some people hate it, but the truth is from celebrities like, you know, Lady Gaga to the everyday woman, people are starting to, to grow it out. And the thing is, overall, Mother Nature very rarely gets things wrong. So you have to wonder, why did she leave hair down there? Like perhaps the hair is there doing something, like providing a cushion to, um, to prevent irritation. Maybe it's a barrier to stay, to keep out bacteria and things like that. And you also mentioned uh, sexual attraction. So some people think that we release certain scents and the hair that's down below and also the hair in your arm, under your armpit, it will actually help to keep those scents in so it attracts the opposite sex. Yeah, I think that, that's great because exactly what you're saying, there's basically three reasons that, that, that patients will come in to do this. One is because they've never had it and it's part of their culture, it's actually advantageous to have it. Another good reason would be they've had a surgical scar in that area, um, you know, so that they, they want to have that surgical scar covered. But I had a patient who came into my office and she started internet dating a, a, a guy and they were corresponding for about three or four months and she found out that a turn on for him was for, to have a lot of hair down there and she just didn't have it. And so then they finally were gonna be set up to actually physically meet one another. And she came into my office and her meeting was about two weeks, you know, post the, the time that she walked into my office. First of all, I, <laughs> like you guys were saying there, I thought she needed to test. think about it a little more before she did the procedure. But in this instance, she couldn't have the procedure, it wouldn't have grown out within the two week period of time. But it, you it also, at that point, don't you off. also have to do a bit of a psychological assessment? Because yeah. <laughs> I, I, there's more to that story than hair down there.